Last week, we had our first ever catamaran experience. John, this legend right here, had heard we'd never sailed aboard a catamaran. But luckily, he had a spare. So we jumped onto Whitsunday Freedom, a Lagoon 450, with another salty sailor, Olivia. And all together, we headed for the islands. Where we crashed yet another drone and dived a coral shelf. Eager to fit in as much as possible, you'll find us now here, Blue Pell Bay in the Whitsunday Islands. Diving into more activities before we set sail towards yet another island where we hike what I think is the best walk we've ever done. This is Slim. Hey girls, here you go. I'm so. She's the skipper. But more importantly, this is Chile. We're two full-time uni students living aboard our 34-foot sailboat Nakama. <laughs> and we're determined to circumnavigate Australia. With the help of our patrons, we post weekly videos of the magnificent mayhem we call our lives. So subscribe. Come along with us. Woo! No, 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 I'm gonna spread it on both of them. No, 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 no. Okay, so there's this thing about like, I love butter and salt on No, honey, I know you're already. We have successfully now jumped off the boat and had a bit of a swim, and we're gonna have a sail now. Did you wanna go ashore now? No, no, we'll go ashore at the next place. We don't have time. Otherwise, we have to take tender apart, I mean. down, and we gotta go. It's like three o'clock. Where's Liv? Liv! Looking at photographs, they were Say aye aye. Aye aye. Aye aye, Captain. No matter. We want to get this bad girl actually up and sailing, but the wind has other plans. Uh, what are we sitting on? Five knots? The wind definitely has other plans. Eleven knots of wind, but we think that will be all right for us to have have a little wee sail, see how we go. Whether she moves or not, we're not sure because we've never really sailed this boat. But anyway, we'll soon find out, I guess. No reason to fight. No reason to say we're through. No need to deny. Cause I'm not over you. It ain't been decided. You can't make a choice for two My heart ain't been lying No, I'm not over you Cause I know it's true No one else could love nice, me Half as good as you Now what do I do? What do I do? Passing our coffee shop John has been raving about a walk for a while now. 
well, for the last day. Apparently, this walk is special, with grass trees that whisper to you, and views from every angle. So, we're on our way to South Mole Island, so we can wake first thing and do this said walk. We're still not quite used to this whole not leaning thing. How are you doing nine knots? You just get to places so quick. Sailing along quite nicely while sitting dead flat on the water felt pretty bizarre. Yes, Liv, get it! <laughs> hey! We've got some islands to weave between, so we're heading straight for unsafe passage. How are we looking, Jono? Very worried. <laughs> but don't worry, in today's conditions, it should be completely safe. Hopefully. And after we crossed and defeated Unsafe Passage, we found home for the night. And it was just about time for a beer. What are you going to do? I'm getting some beers out of the fridge. It's <laughs> fair enough. Enough talking about it. Time to start doing it. Cheers! No, bin, 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 bin. Oh, sorry. Oh, man. So we keep forgetting she's filming. Making Cheers! Brothers and sisters. I feel I feel like a dysfunctional family. Yeah, I thought that was gonna say big ears. <laughs> but. <laughs> but I don't know who is mum yet. You know oh, I, I totally know who's mum. Yeah. Am I mum? You cannot have a beer until oh, yeah. you make it up. <laughs> I'm mum. <laughs> Naughty little boy. Yeah. <laughs> As you guys have probably noticed, we're not currently with Chili. We're on a luxury catamaran, but she is in good hands, and our mate Jenna is looking after her. But we've requested some photos. Wait, we didn't even have to request. We were just about to request the photos, and she sent them through anyway. And it makes me feel a lot better to know my little Chula is happy, although she looks kind of frightened in this photo. My little one. What else do we have? Ah, oh, she's on the floor in that one. Well. well, thank you. I haven't even had a shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's a massive footprint. Whose foot is that? Paul's got big feet, eh? It's a ghost on the boat called Paul. And he's my lover. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't include that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe I you wanted to like redo <laughs> yeah, yeah. what you were saying. Nah. <laughs> Almost glass. <glide. laughs> Well, we've dusted off the buttons as we thought we would make ourselves presentable for our last evening together. But, Oops. no white linen shirt or sundress will save us from the fact that we're better sailors than cocktail partiers. Just in case. Just in case. Oh, I like what you've done there. Yeah, put the little... <laughs> Piss off! <laughs> Cheers again for having us, John. Pleasure, mate. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Day three of living aboard a luxury catamaran. Mm -hmm. It's about 6.30 in the morning and... It's our last day. It's our last day. We're gonna go for a hike this morning. That is the reason why we're up so early. Mm -hmm. So we're starting to try and get the team moving. Try and get the blood flowing, try and get the caffeine in the veins. Morning. morning. Yeah. We are going for an adventure walk. Like it. That's Mount Jeffries, but we want to go to Spion Coop. And we are away. We've chosen the song that we're going to be singing up. It's called Ho Ho. No, what's it called, Liv? Ahoy. Ahoy. And how does it go? Ahoy, Pirates Ahoy! 
The land of the pirates, <laughs> we're going up a hill. <laughs> On the what? <laughs> <laughs> On the hill. hill. <laughs> This is like the best walk I've ever done. This is like my perfect terrain. Open, clear, grassy, green, blue, wonderful. Well, I like Sick. having a motor. Well, John was right. This walk is special. The grass trees whisper in the soft breeze and light up the rolling hills in vibrant green. The turquoise waters of the reef meet rich blues of the deep ocean surrounding the islands. And yes, views from every angle. GoPro on a rock quite a few kilometers back that way so I'm feeling pretty anxious about that so you might see some underwater footage in this episode and you might not yeah yes! <laughs> we found it as you can see I was pretty distracted at the time it's a pretty good view that's why I lost it what a crazy trip it's been it's been so so nice we are heading back to Ellie and Simon's got to go to work. We're going to clean up our mess that we've made on this boat and sadly depart this boat and head back to Nakama, which actually I'm very excited to do because, I mean, between you and me, Nakama's pretty good. <laughs> We're kind of all getting a little bit tired, so our energy levels are depleting. <laughs> yeah, you're full of energy. We've, we've had a while, we've definitely like been like must be doing activities every second of every day. Yeah. So it's, it's been a wild couple of days, but definitely. I don't, Who's driving the boat? Uh, I think Paul said he had it. Oh. Paul, you've got this, mate. Yeah. It's a ghost on the boat called Paul. Hey, Paul. Nah, this was fun. This was fun. Yeah, thank you, you so fun. much. Yeah, yeah, I've had such a good time. Thank you so much for grabbing me along on this trip. Yeah, no worries. You didn't have a choice. Yeah. Drag uh, you by the ankles and like... Yeah. <laughs> kicking, and, kicking and screaming onto the catamaran. Yeah. Absolutely off it. <laughs> oh. So tired. What a crazy two, two, I was gonna say a crazy two weeks. It hasn't two, been two weeks, it's been two days. Crazy two days, jam packed two days. Chili's back here, she's happy to see me. Hi! I'm back here, I'm happy to see Nakama. 
Good old girl. Mm -hmm. While we're sitting in our uh, our discussion chair, our discussion chair, it's like the Big Brother chair this where we tell you our secrets. We're sitting down here with you right now, just for a little, just for a little bit, wanting to talk about what we thought about stepping aboard a catamaran, having never sailed on a catamaran before, coming from our tiny little monohull to a 45 foot cat and what do we think of that and would we ever see ourselves on one in the future so we're going to answer some of those questions yeah so it goes without saying as well um this is just our opinion we didn't get paid we just went sailing with john for fun because he wanted people to go with so in no way shape or form was that a paid thing nor is this a paid response so would we see ourselves sailing on a catamaran in the future my way let us start with what do we think of the catamaran okay let's okay what do we think of the catamaran Firstly, a massive thing that jumps out to me is the stability. <laughs> We're so used to packing everything away very We're thoroughly. Yeah, more. you like make sure that everything's like... If you see something on a table, I kept grabbing... When we so first put our beer down, I kept being like, babe! And grabbing the beer and being like, you're gonna lose, you know, yeah. hold it or lose it sort of thing. And then after a while, you're like, oh. You get used to it, but straight away, we were very much like, you know, as soon as we like dropped the mooring off, this was when we were leaving early the first time. We, I was just, you know, like, oh my god, my water bottle, like, that's going to tip, that's mm. going to tip, you know what I mean? Running around, and I'm like, wait, no, like, that took us a little while to get used to, that nothing would actually, is going to fall over. Yeah, like, we had pretty good conditions, in I'm the sure conditions, the conditions yeah. got up, but yeah. if we were on knackers at that point in time, we definitely would have been rolling uh, We could rolling not have around. done that, but with the spillage, I mean, with two hulls, you just have such a different movement as well, like... It was, I don't know how to explain that's, it. <laughs> that, that's a lot about movement, isn't it? The other thing, obviously, it was amazing all just there was four of us on the boat and you hardly knew it. There's You could, you can't fit four people on the karma, but mm -hmm. there, you'd be like running around looking for each other and it, it was cool. And you all had your own, we still had a spare bedroom to go. Yeah, um, there we, was all a, had our we own could bedroom. have had another, or had another couple or at least another person on yeah. board. Like, And it wouldn't have made, it, you could have easily had four couples on that boat and it would not ever have felt crowded like there's so much yeah. space which was yeah. just so I feel like if you like I don't know if you were planning on having lots of people or crew that and you were well. and you know what I mean like a then a cat would be like super ideal so ideal because like I kept on losing everyone where's Liv? And you know the boat's big when you keep losing everyone. There were so many different places to sit. Yeah. I was just like, Liv would just like walk off. And I was just be like, where the f is Liv? <laughs> Liv, Liv? Liv was particularly hard to keep to track find, of. To yeah. find, But you could fit a small army quite comfortably on that yeah. thing. That was the closest we've come to a house in a very in long time. In a very time. long time. So yeah. it was pretty nice. But would we ever see ourselves on a catamaran in the future? In the immediate foreseeable future, unless we steal John's keys again, no. First of all, we're two uni students. Doing this is a miracle in itself, and more on that in a second. Uh, firstly, financially, it would be impossible for us. The marina fees are next and to double. I, and I think almost... It's two engines. Yeah. That thing had four showers to service, four bathrooms to service. Like, the sheer amount of maintenance well is like doubled and some on that boat so for for like purely financial reasons obviously we can't see ourselves on a catamaran for a very long time yeah but then apart from financial like would we actually see us you know what i mean like would that be like the boat that we're striving for or like at this like, stage it would just be surplus to our needs honestly if you had like mm. And I think once you went on a cat, if you lived on one full time, it would be hard to go back. Like, yeah, once like they're you go, very comfortable. It's, like it's super comfortable. Yeah. But also like, I feel like I'm like a mono girl at heart, unless that changes for the moment. And I probably have influence from my parents because they're just like true mono advocates as well. So yeah, you're um, definitely, and to say yeah. that you're not influenced your parents would be a lie. Yeah. But, but <laughs> if I was to rent a boat for a week with my mates, you couldn't convince me anywhere otherwise that I wouldn't do it on a catamaran. Like there's no, if I was to rent any two boats for a week's holiday with mates, it would cat. hands down be a catamaran. But just for our situation and what we need and stuff like that, I think it would just be surplus to our needs and too much to keep track of. Mm, um, for sure. 
for all the people that do watch us and do think, man, it'd be so fun to go for a sail, like, you fully can. You don't like, need your own boat. Actually, you don't the have beauty to of this John is does all that, that servicing the double engines for you, takes care of everything, and they are such beautiful boats, and it was such a nice... We've gotten to know all the lads that work on the boats yeah, and everything. Yeah, all the guys like, are so nice. Reminder, this was like not a paid thing at all. Yeah, or, but this is not like a commercial or, or anything. Go with John. But yeah, we're just like literally like... Had so much fun. Had so much fun. And it's totable, totally, totable, totally doable for you to just... Yeah. Rent the... a cat for a week and do what we just did then because like there's so much to see out here in the Whit Sundays. You can squeeze a lot in in a week mm. and you'll feel very satisfied. I feel like I'm yeah. Yeah, no, that was, <laughs> and that satisfaction was... guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll leave the link to Portland Roads in the description below um, if you want to check it out. Obviously, no pressure. Like just for your curiosity, you can have a browse, see what he's about, see what boats he has. If you're interested in seeing the Wit Sundays at all, as an adult, yes. I feel like I'm not speaking properly right yeah, now. Right. Now, on a more serious note, we look how solemn your face looks. <laughs> We're gonna—it's exam time for us, and as some of you may know, and it's in our intro now that we are full-time uni students. Long story short, we're going to take a week off. Maybe two, probably one. We, first of all, want to pass the university because that's important to us. And secondly, between all the uni and the editing and stuff, if we don't actually take some time off, we will have nothing to show you other than us sitting on laptops. Because Soph hasn't spent a day not off the laptop in a month now other than that trip we just got back from. Four weeks without a day off a laptop other than those two days. So that's our uni sort of thing that's happening at the moment and we're gonna take a week off and we're really sorry that that means there won't be an episode next week but at the same time it means that we'll actually go out there and do some fun stuff and probably have some really cool stuff to show you. We've rambled on a lot. That's a long ramble. But what did we take from this? What did we take? I don't know what we achieved in talking about Catamaran this. Catamaran was really fun. We'd fully yeah. recommend it. We can't afford to, nor do we think we need a catamaran at this stage, but I would definitely, if I was sailing with mates, there's not enough room on here for them, I'd be more inclined to rent one of them, because with a bunch of mates it works out to be like a grand, a bit more than a grand each a week, it's like, oh, sometimes renting a boat seems so appealing instead of owning one. Anyway, <laughs> um, seriously, <laughs> we are taking a week off, maybe two, probably one, deal with it, because what you're going to have to, because that's what we're doing. That's it, Slim and Surf. See you All later. Alright, see you when we are looking at you.